As we reported here last night, the state's top vaccination official says she was fired after she tried to encourage vaccinations for teenagers without their parents' consent. Dr. Michelle Fiscus is a pediatrician. She sent a letter to medical providers notifying them that they can vaccinate minors older than 14 without their parents' approval. That's directly in line with a Tennessee state policy in place since 1987. But the move angered some Republican state lawmakers. And in response, Fiscus says she was fired from her position as Tennessee's top vaccine official. And according to the reporting by the Tennessean newspaper, the state Department of Health is stopping all vaccine outreach to adolescents. A spokesperson for the Department of Health did not comment on that report, but did tell NBC News the department wants to remain a trustworthy source of information to help individuals, including parents, make decisions. Dr. Michelle Fiscus is with us now, the fired Tennessee vaccination official. Doctor, thanks so much. You, you told the newspaper in Nashville that you're a scapegoat, fired for not only promoting vaccines, but also for trying to promote science-based education. That's a very big accusation. What opposition specifically did you face before you say you were fired? Well, Shep, thanks for having me on. Uh, you know, the the memo that I sent that you alluded to um, informing physicians that were administering COVID-19 vaccines in the state who had questions about whether or not they could do so legally to minors and, and what they should do when a minor presents themselves um, without a parent um, is, as you said, you know, in Tennessee's Supreme Court case law since 1987. And the memo I sent was in response to the, those inquiries sure. um, with language that was provided to me and, and blessed by Understood. the governors. But doctor, who came for you? Who was it who said anything and what they said? So, you know, the, the first that we heard about uh, any kind of pushback from this was through the, the legislators who began to call the Department of Health and accuse uh, the department of targeting teenagers and, and messaging directly to them, which was not the case. This was a memo to physicians. Um, and then in the, uh, the government operations hearing that was held on June the 16th, where um, legislators said that the, um, the messaging to teenagers is reprehensible. How, how and, is it reprehensible? I, I really don't understand that. Yeah, I mean, I think you would have to, to contact those legislators and ask them um, how they come to that conclusion. What but, was your reaction? Um, <laughs> my reaction was, uh, you've got to be kidding me. Um, this is a vaccine preventable disease. And there is no reason for anyone in this country to die from COVID-19 from the time that these vaccines became widely available. So um, to, to suggest that um, letting families know and the public know that vaccines are available for children who are 12 and older to protect them um, and describe that as reprehensible is unbelievable. And, and those same legislators called for the dissolution of the Tennessee State Department of Health in response. You know, and now they've gone a step further. Now, now they are not only saying don't message parents or children or anyone else about adolescents and the COVID vaccine. Now they're saying no talk about any vaccines and nothing at all about HPV. W what's happened here and, and what's your level of concern for kids in Tennessee? Well, my level of concern is great. We are 30,000 doses of MMR vaccine behind where we should be um, for kids who entered kindergarten last year, never mind the ones that are going to be starting school in about three weeks that might be behind. So um, to, to gag the Department of Health and not allow us to message to parents that um, that they might need to get vital vaccines for their children is, uh, you know, I think, malpractice and, and dereliction of duty um, for those in public health leadership at this point. Um, we had a 67% reduction in HPV vaccines last April compared to April of 2019. Those kids, if they are not brought back in to get vaccinated, um, many of them will end up having HPV-related cancers in two or three decades. And, you know, will we even remember that that's happened because of COVID-19 and because of the response of, of the leadership um, in the Department of Health in this administration. So, um, you know, to, to put a gag on public health, you know, and this was at the time of my leaving, which was Monday, and to say that there is to be no messaging whatsoever around vaccinations for children um, is, is just, I, I, I just can't even understand um, how people in public health can make those kinds of moratorium. Is this all politics? I think it's it's all politics. Um, you know, we have a, 
uh, a super majority in the legislature. Um, we have a governor who needs to run for re-election next year. We have a commissioner who has stated in the Tennessean that she plans to run for governor or senator or um, get a White House cabinet position. Um, it's hard to imagine that um, my firing wasn't, at least in part, um, an attempt to placate those legislators and, and keep them on their side. And that's where we are. Dr. Michelle Fiscus, for your time, I thank you. All the best. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.